Ahoy, lads and lasses! Salty here, with some beginning advice for you folks who have just started your adventures on the Sea of Thieves. But Salty, I can hear you cry. I'm a veteran pirate. I don't need beginner's advice. Well, this be a guide mainly for new players, but I swear by me grog-soaked beard that a lot of me advice will still come in handy with even the eldest of sea dogs. So grab a pint, get cozy, and learn something new from your favorite Scottish pirate. The first tidbit I have for you is to kill your enemies with kindness. Ah, the old pen is mightier than the sword logic. A bit ironic for a pirate, but stick with me. I know this ain't the sea of friends, it be the sea of thieves. And you better believe old Salty here wants nothing more than to see you sink your enemies to the bottom of the depths while being wary at all times. But being kind can open many doors not only for you, but would-be enemies as well. Let's put you in a scenario. You just got done plundering some loot, and you see a fearsome brigantine off in the distance. You're merely a solo sloop, but you hold fast and give them all you got. After the dust settles, whether you're the victor or not, you give your enemy a friendly GG to which they retort with something nasty. It don't feel too good, does it? Should you be nasty back, giving them a old taste of their old medicine? Nay, and I'll tell you why. Spitting unkind things to others will continue a vicious cycle, which will make no pirate want to do business with no one. Along with that, anger can cloud your judgment and ultimately make sailing the seas not enjoyable for you, your crew, or your enemies. By being kind, you keep your wits about you, and you might even make an angry pirate come to their senses. You might even befriend them. And even if you don't, a pirate who can't get under your skin is going to get even more angry, and ultimately, You'll be the victor of that battle for staying kind and calm. So let them be an old grumpy barnacle. The second part of mental preparation be this golden rule. No loot is truly yours until you sell it. Many a grand pirate has stated this rule before, but allow me to elaborate why this be so important. If you set sail keeping this in your thoughts, when you do inevitably lose your treasure, whether it be to a blasted kraken, a skeleton crew, or some feisty buccaneers, knowing that loot was only yours once you sold it makes it that much less frustrating when it's gone. It'd be frustrating no matter what, I know. But keeping this mindset will definitely make the game more enjoyable and allow you to focus on your experiences rather than the gold. Keep in mind too, gold only makes your pirate more fancy. The memories you share with your crew is truly priceless. The last tidbit of advice for mental prep I'll give you is to be mindful. Salty here ain't no therapist, but there's one thing I know. Mindfulness is being in the moment. It takes a bit of practice, but once you master it, you will be cold steel, feared by your enemies in battle. If you can keep your mind centered on what's actually happening, right then and there, and not panicking about what could and can be, you'll find battles on the Sea of Thieves to be much less stressful, and perhaps even easier. So, we got how your mind should be when venturing out, but now, how about your physical prowess? What's the fastest way to become the mightiest you can be? Patience! Patience, you bloody git! I know there be talented lads and lasses out there with a plethora of guides of sword skills, mastery of your ship, and much more. But what Salty has to tell you is a lot less colourful, but a lot simpler, and a lot more versatile too. After your first maiden voyage, to become a better pirate is to jump feet first into the salty seas on your very own sloop. Now I know you'd be thinking, but Salty, 
I don't know the controls for my ship, let alone me on sea legs. And we have all these different tools. Where do I start? And I'll tell you, keep the lessons of mental preparation in mind and dive right in blind as a bat. I know, that might sound nonsensical and downright dodgy to a lot of you, but here old Salty out. If you go out on your own with the tips I told you about mindfulness and experience things at your own pace at which you enjoy, you'll find muscle memory and experience comes quickly. This will also make your crew stronger with you knowing how to handle your own ship and your tools from your own adventures. To piggyback on that, what's a good way to start off your own without it being overbearing? My personal opinion on this, tall tales. Whether you love a grand old adventure or despise it, most tall tales like the pirate's life will usually place you in a realm where you don't have to worry about them pesky pirates. This also gives you plenty of time to get used to the controls of your ship, how to perfect tool and weapon usage, and much more. If you have a first for more advanced tricks with certain tools, weapons, and ships, feel free to let Old Salty know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, y'all give them hell on the Sea of Thieves.